hello 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 lovies how are you doing hopefully you're doing well welcome welcome like welcome back to my channel it has been a while but hopefully you are doing well and today is all about how to achieve this look use brazilian wool if you're my oldest subscriber honey i do appreciate your love your support i appreciate everything but if you are new to this family you are welcome my name is Gloria Toy, and before you leave consider subscribing turn on notification bell and don't forget to share this video with your loved one you wish they know how to do this hairstyle straight to the video i will work with three lines and to start i start with this front section because in front of my hair is a little bit short compared with middle so to hold all the hair together and to make this hairstyle last a long time i go ahead and divide small line not too small though then i go ahead and apply some gel gel helps me to get clean and neat line but it's not necessarily that you must use gel so after this i go ahead and i start to work with sections as you see i will not work with small section today section is a little bit bigger and this is brazilian wool i use less than half of this pack this is the size of the wool i cut in every section and each section i use six strand but if your hair is longer than mine it means you have to cut your wool more long so that you can wrap your hair well then i go ahead and i start wrapping when i wrap as usual guys you don't need to wrap too tight wrap gentle you don't need to cause any pain in your scalp and then wrap slowly slowly till you feel like the section you wrap is longer enough to connect to the next section so these two sections i use seven strand so after i finish wrap this first two section i go ahead and i make the third section here is the important parts because the third section is the section that starts to take the meaning of this hairstyle here you may decide to wrap going front or going backward it's all up to you but if you have big forehead like mine i will suggest wrap going forward i mean past the section forward not in backward because once you do it backward the forehead more bigger so to avoid that just go in front so here the first section goes to the third section and the second section goes to fourth section and before i put the second section to fourth section i make sure i split my natural hair into two so that i can put this second section in between my natural hair and then i start wrap my natural hair like two times so that i make sure i hold the hair well and after i wrap two times then i hold wool together with previous section then I keep wrapping all of them together and I wrap till I feel like it's longer enough than I secure the same way I do every time I make sure I mean the first go to third and go to fifth yes like this so the second one go to fourth and go to sixth if you feel confused And then I keep wrapping till the last section from this front part. And after I wrap a couple times from this last section, at this point, I take the previous section put together with this last section. But you can see after I put them together, it's like I roll so that they can form the same, same style from the beginning. 
hopefully this makes sense and then i keep wrapping in case when you're wrapping you find like your wool is short you may decide to add another wool and keep wrapping but keep in your mind that when you're adding wool add few i mean when you're wrapping and at the mid of the section you may add maybe three or two then here i'll go back and I said in back section I will work with only two lines. So to make things easy, I divide my back section here into two, just like this. And then each each side I I go ahead and make two section. You can see how easy it is. Then I make sure I secure and then go to other side. Do the same thing. Then secure the remaining hair. Then I connect all the hair together. After I pat the first time, I go ahead and I apply a little bit gel and then I redo the line again to get clean and neat line and this is how it looks like. So this is the second line I'll follow the same way. I mean, I'll start from the same side. I start front line but this last section i'll start opposite opposite way hopefully this makes sense then i start wrapping and don't forget when you start any line the first two sections you have to start with seven strand or more So here in this last line, I go in different way. I think you can see the first two line I wrap going front, but this line, this last line, I'm connecting these sections going backward. But that's not big deal. You may decide to go the same way, going backward. Uh, I mean, connect the sections going backward or going forward. It's all up to you here is not big deal at all and then i keep wrapping but at this last line i'm not going to make this middle line here to show like i have two sections i'm going to make a little like curves so to avoid to make like the line show like it's two parts together almost up of this line i make triangle shape The more you watch you'll understand more i make triangle shape this up section up three sections i make triangle shape and then the rest sections i go with the same shape uh rectangle then i keep wrapping till end of this line Tell you the truth to braid this style it took me very short time it's around two hours including parting all sections and braid and then this hairstyle need very few wool only one pack of brazilian wool it's very very enough and if you're asking it you must use brazilian wool only no you may use even other wool just normal wool so back to the point after this last section i wrap a couple times and then i connect them together again if you start to connect this section going backward it means even the last line you have to the last section you have to connect going backward if you start the first section going forward the last section you have to connect going forward and after this, I wrap till I feel like it's longer enough. To make this style a little bit unique, I decide to connect these two sections together. And I find it to give this hairstyle another feelings that I didn't expect that I'll have. I feel like it's when someone look at this hairstyle, it looks a little bit complicated, but actually not complicated. 
It's so easy. Yeah, but it's so easy. So after I put this section together, I take another three wool. You may use three or you may use two. Then I make sure I wrap them together till I feel like they are well secured and well covered. Then I take scissors and I trim off all the excess wool because I don't want like back section to be very long. So I take scissor and I trim off all this two side excess wool and looks like this way. Then I take another three wool and I wrap again from beginning of this, I mean end side till end. Make sure that all wool is well covered just like this way. And after I finish, I secure this side well and I take scissor and I trim off all excess wool. And guys, this is the final result for today's video. Hopefully you enjoy watching and you get something. If yes, kindly give this video a big thumbs up subscribe and don't forget to share this video with your loved one you wish they know how to do this hairstyle i love you guys so much and i will see you very soon on my next video bye bye